This week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to make your Gantt bars thicker. Who ever wanted to make these Gantt bars thicker? Um, but when you go to size and you max it out, it only makes the Gantt bar wider. Now this neat little trick comes from Mr. Carl Altchin from the Information Labs Data School. So I'm just going to build it totally from scratch. So the first one I'm going to build is 2019 sales. So if, yeah, I'm just hard coding these in. Um, you should maybe use a level of detail calculations if you want this to be dynamic. Um, then sales and hit OK. And then we're just going to duplicate this and just change that to 2018 sales. Um, because Tableau haven't updated their Superstore sales yet to include 2020. So change that to 2018. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drag 2019 sales on here. Drag 2018 sales until you get that dashed line, which then gives you a dual axis. And we're going to right click and we're going to synchronize just to make sure that we have both the scales the same. Now I'm going to hit option, drag or right click and drag for your order date. I'm going to hit month at the top. This is, gives us a month by month and year by year. So this second one, I'm going to change that to a Gantt. And the first one, we're changing to a bar. Now I'm going to move that in and make that a little bit, um, make the bar a little bit thinner. And now when I go to the Gantt, if I max that out, it only makes it um, wider, not thicker. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use our average of a certain number. So what I did there is I double clicked in my marks card and started typing. So you could use the average of zero or the average of one, but that's not going to make any difference because of the scale of my axes. So here we need to have a look at maybe the average of 1000. So if I hit enter and add that onto size, it then makes it a little bit thicker and again, we can do the average of 2,000 or maybe even 3,000 depending on what you want to do. Now I would advise against going too thick because this could distort the figures as it is at the bottom of the Gantt or is it the top of the Gantt so just be careful with this one but it just makes it, it makes you be able to add a little bit thicker on your Gantt bars. That's all for me this week guys. Stay safe and See you all soon.